Well, how do there, chums? I'm up inside of the space station. Now, I'm playing at No Man's Sky like it's light, no fire. We're calling this a light, no sky. Yeah. Try saying that fast. Okay, right. Anyways, what am I doing up in the station? You're probably wondering. Well, I want to see how much it's going to cost to upgrade my multi-tool to an S-class multi-tool. Because at the moment it's an A-class. And, of course, it costs nanites. Now, I'm nowhere near 50,000. 50,000 nanites is what I'm going to need. Currently I have 4,000 nanites, so the rest of my videos is going to be trying to get that to its maximum. So something I can do straight away that I've spotted there is I've got a couple of redundant sort of modules. Here we go. Purchase upgrades. Sell, and I can sell that. Boom. Now what I can also do is if I go into this glass, extract that, that should give me a couple and I think you can actually can you put this into nanites let me have a look let's stick that in there does it turn into nanites no no it doesn't I don't think well let's put let's put some fuel in no it doesn't turn into anything all right well I mean I could turn this in or I can just pop it for a load more so I've got a few different modules there let's head on over then Let's see if we can sell those. And I go sell. Okay, well I've got it up to 9,000 nanites. Now to get more of that glass, I need to go and kill some sentinels. Now there's probably something else inside of here that I could probably spin into nanites inside of my exosuit. Yeah, runaway mod. We can stick that into there. we we'll get that on the bake. There's not much else that I've got there that can turn into nanites. I mean, we're not going to get a lot of nanites from that. But inside of my ship, I have got a load of salvage data. Oh, I've got four. Four? I've been digging it up for freaking years. Surely I've got more than that. Oh, I've got, 20, I've got 24 there. So let's move that over into my exosuit. And let's pop all this glass. Let's see if we get some more. Let's see if we can get over 10,000 nanites. Come on. Go sell. Ah. There you go. Yes, we're on 11,000 now, people. There we go. That, that wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, I need to sort out my... Oh, I can put Pugnium in there. And I've got a load of this that I can spin into nanites inside of my ship. But that's a slow, laborious process. So there we go. Look, I just got myself, what, 92 nanites from that? Like I say... Very slow, laborious process. Almost to the point that it's hardly worth doing. But I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, might as well. Okay, well, while that's on the bake, we could go and fight some sentinels. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go put everything that's inside of my exosuit from storage, well, into storage. So let's go back to my base first and I go put stuff into storage. I reconvene after I've sorted that saw Cynical doing was using his bolt caster on butterflies and he'd done three volleys to kill a butterfly. So let's see how many volleys it takes me. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't think mine is as powerful as his. But you can see there I've upset a sentinel already so I better stop shooting the butterflies. Yeah, sorry mate. I, I won't shoot anymore. I was just seeing whether my multi-tool was formidable and I'm guessing that it's not anyway let's go and take on some sentinels with my multi-tool then hmm I think I think cynical's multi-tool might be tougher than mine okay your bases let's go to our sentinel tower oh I haven't I haven't sorted out my inventory yet so let me go do that quickly I'm just gonna chuck everything that's on me inside of here pretty much anyway I mean not the ammo obviously because I kind of need that to shoot stuff don't I yeah, let's just let's just get rid of all this, all the things that I'm I'm probably not going to need on my person. Uh, probably need that. Just in case I die, it's all the stuff that I don't want to lose. You know. Okay, there we go. I think I can afford to lose the rest, and I kind of need a, a little bit of that sort of stuff that's there. All right. Okay. 
No, I could put the egg in there, actually. Let's put the egg in there. Okay, right. Now let's go and test out my multi-tool against some sentinels. There we go. And your bases. Sentinel tower. Let's go do okay, this. Okay, right. So at long range, the weapon that I'm going to be using is going to be my... Hold on. Why is it not there? Well, it should be there. Have I not installed the base element for it? I haven't. Oh, fudge. I need another wiring loom and some chromatic metal. Well, I, I just went and left that at my base, didn't I? All right, I'll wow, be right well, back I in have a bit. no chromatic metal, so I'm having to use my copper to turn into chromatic metal. I'll be right back. We will be doing combat with sentinels, but... Need to do this the legit way. Now I have got my wiring loom. So let's go on over to the multi tool and let's get the wiring loom in. I'm just waiting for 200 chromatic metals, which is on the bake as we speak. So here we go. Okay, right. Well, I think I've got enough now to get my multi tool completed. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom. Dundally and done. We've now got my boomstick ready to do some booming. Now, what I'm thinking is when we enter into the PvP bout, to save me having to scroll through all my different weapons, I might take out the terrain manipulator and also the mining laser. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Just so I can scroll through them a little bit quicker, you know? Anyway, let's go to the Sentinel oh. Tower. Oh, hello there, buddy. Uh, so I was going to go fight Sentinels, but I'm here with Ominous Gaunt. He called me over because something's happened to the uh, Cynical Crayon. I can't see the Cynical Crayon, though, Ominous. Well, um, the only way I can describe it is Professor Cynical's crane now has 07 rules and big neon layers all over it. Who did that? Um, I, <laughs> myself and someone else found it like that. Wow. Okay, I've seen the 07 rules now. Yeah, they've put a base on top, haven't they? Um, no, actually... Um, it was a bit of clever, clever trickery. Yeah. Um, by someone who who shall remain nameless. Yeah. But I, I, I can honestly say it wasn't me. I I can I have no credit in this at all. Wow. Well, I I did watch its um, progress of being built. Okay. And the gentleman in question did an excellent job. Yeah, I'd say that. That's that's pretty darn freaking sweet, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> and not yep. only does it say 07 from a distance, yeah. but there's light. There's lights on it, so at night, yeah. it'll still light up, and you'll see it, still see it from a distance. Oh, that's awesome. Whoever did that, you're freaking awesome. Thank you, Ominous. Cheers for sharing us that, mate. Right. Uh, I just... We, ju we just have to let them know that we're real. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that definitely does that. Definitely does that. <laughs> cool. So, Ominous, um, did you see Cynical's video where he was circling you in a on a giant worm and he was looking to take you out? But then he decided no, not to. Actually. Okay, well, if you watch his last episode, The Cold War, um, he was watching you getting shot at by an NPC in a ship, and he thought, hold on, it's not really fair if I join in and shoot him as well. But he was going to take you out, mate, if you was if you was free and out there in survival mode. I'd be careful. I think he's gunning for you, mate. I'll up and bring it on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, What's the worst that happens? I get him, he gets me. It's yeah. all good. Yeah, true. Yeah, good luck with that. The only thing is, he gets to respawn where you wouldn't. Yeah, but... It happens, and I can always be a Jedi and watch a game from, from mm. the comfort of my um, room with no view. <laughs> well, what would be nice, though, Gaunt, since you're like one of my knights, it'd be nice if you're still about, and maybe Ghost Light, well, on the 5th of July, that's when we're going to be going into PvP legit. I'd like it if you guys can survive until then, because then we can form a little hunting party, the three of us, you know? Well, I would include Stormageddon in that. Um, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. It was him that actually showed me the shield and shoot, um, the shield and shoot trick. 
The shield and shoot trick. Okay. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. Right. No. Stay where you are. Yeah, yeah. Stay exactly where you are. Yeah. Okay. Now okay, shoot cool. Your, shoot your weapon. Don't move. Just stand. No, no. Yeah. Stand exactly where you are. Right? Okay. All right. No shoot. And I can still Don't shoot stand through the. Behind it. I can still shoot through the shield. Yeah, okay. shoot. Okay. How do you go? Oh. Sweet. Okay. That, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, so, cool. uh, yeah, it was Stormageddon that showed me that. Okay, cool. Well, oh, you got a lovely alien multi tool as well. Go on. Yeah, um, Stormageddon's got one. There's a, a vendor, a, yeah. an NPC vendor, and speak to Stormageddon. He'll tell you exactly where to find it. Yeah, it's like five minutes away from our base, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Speak to the vendor, and mm -hmm. I don't know what you'll get, but it gives Stormageddon an S class version. Sweet. Wow, yeah, no, no, I know, I know. They put they put it inside the Discord, but because I've got this staff, you know, I'd rather have the staff than an alien. But that's so cool to see that you know our crew has all got these alien multi tools. Hopefully, a few others from the Discord have picked that up. But yeah, Stormageddon gave me a load of modules. He gave me a Blaze Javelin module. He gave me a Pulse Spitter module. The guy's awesome. So yeah, if we yeah. If, uh... I believe he upgraded the bulk caster as well for you. He did. He did indeed. He's a freaking legend. So uh, I already had. Yeah. I already had the bulk caster. I gave them all the loads back. Can can I can I um, say while we're here? Hmm. If, if you you tour his base, he has my vote for um, Grand Architect. Well, okay. Well, um, uh, the Grand Architect is also... usually done by like you know Cynical tours mine and I tour theirs. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I mean, it also it also is my vote for next season of being a knight, and I would happily give up my spot as a knight for him. Cool. Well, he, he's got a long way in my favour already. He's, he gave me a shed load of upgrades. So yeah, and then there's there's another chap that's been on the Discord, and he's put down he even claimed the North Pole and the South Pole. There's one guy. His oh, name's his name's the first oh, yeah. chapter. So yeah, he, he's done great, great this this time. I've got a lot of candidates for knighthood, but I, I guess we'll see who can, who manages to take some people out as well in um, you know the PvP. But yeah, thanks. Well, it's awesome to see. Um, also, a quick one. Um, I noticed um, Cynical did the nuclear version. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He put some yeah. forward-facing bases. I saw that you've gone and surrounded yeah. him. In his video, in that video that I told you to watch, he actually goes around 360, and there's a base of yours like all the way around him. I'm like, ah, you and Stormageddon, you and Stormageddon have encircled him. I thought that was hilarious. So yeah. Uh, well, well uh, uh, he has to know that he's being watched, and <laughs> I think things. he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> but on the other side, is we also have a nuclear option. Yeah. Yeah. What's your What's that then? Well. I actually um, copied them um, cynical when they put the base down and put the teleporter in and things. So, yeah, on your command, we have a nuclear option. Sweet. What? Just go there and just take them all out. Yeah, uh, by your command. Oh, we'll like go that. there. I'll I'll open the place up and if it can portal in, save, hit the save button and then go um, on a killing spree. That sounds good. Yep, definitely. On the 5th of July, that's exactly what we'll do. Uh, i wait until a lot of you are on and we'll all go there together. Absolutely. Just just tell me what time you need me to arrive and I'll be there. Will do, mate. Call you. Uh, well, the 5th is going to be crazy. I think it's the day after the America's Independence Day. There might be people still sort of hung over, but we'll see. Yeah, because this is on the 4th, isn't it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah. Didn't Scotland have like a load of flags up on bunting just the other day? Or was that for football? I don't know. That's for the football, mate. Cool. Did you do okay? I don't really follow football. Um, we drew against Switzerland. Oh, okay. Well, that is that good or bad? I, sorry, I'm naive when it comes to this sort of thing. <laughs> well, put it this way, we didn't lose. <laughs> cool. So you're still in. You still got points. I don't. Yeah. Scored some nets. Yeah. There we go.
Cool, yeah. Right, I'm going to head on over and go and test my weapons against Sentinels. Right, so, thank you very much for that, Ornaminus. That's definitely put a smile on my face. <laughs> Brilliant. Good, and, and uh, I'll watch um, the early release when it arrives. Yeah, well, go go watch Cynical's video of the Cold War, because it's quite funny as he does a 360 and every single base is yours and Stormageddon's around him. I was like, <laughs> fair play, lads. Nice one. Oh. I didn't even give the order. It just happened. I love it. So funny. Yeah, well, I had to be done. Yeah. Uh, tell you one thing, though, before mm. you go, um, yeah, yeah. obviously, before, before we cancel this, mm. check out um, Ghostlight. He yeah. He did, did a crack. He's done a cracking short short on YouTube. Okay, we will do. I, um, I love he's, ghosts. he's actually he's actually sitting on Cynical's throne, <laughs> just like now, you did. All right, cool. Yeah, Brilliant. but um, he's he's got the guess who's back song on. Oh, cool. And the title is "How Do I Flush?" <laughs> okay, <laughs> I will. I'll have to look at that. Thank you. Cool. Nice one. <laughs> Literally got tears in my eyes from laughing. Take care, mate. See you later. <laughs> Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye. You too, mate. Bye-bye. Right. Well, I'm going to put that to um, invite only for now so I can make my video because I haven't got long to make a freaking video. Right. Here we go. Let's go on in and let's go and fight these Sentinels. Here we go. My bases. Your bases. And I'm looking for the Sentinel Tower, which is there. Let's go do this. Okay, Johns, now to test my weapon against Sentinels. I mean, I was testing it against Butterflies there. I was only doing 480 damage using my Blaze Javelin. Let's see if we, the Blaze Javelin takes out this little Sentinel in one hit. Kaboom! Look at that! 3,000 damage there. Nearly took out the Healing Droid in one zap. Fully charged. Bang! Okay, he got healed quite a fair bit. I also want to see how my shields last against these guys too, so... You know, double test. Okay, now when things get close to me, I should be able to use the Scatter Blaster. Kaboom! You're done. See how much damage that did in a very quick succession. Bang! So anything gets close, Scatter Blaster time. But the weapon of choice is going to be this pulse spitter. So let's let's get some reinforcements. Here we go. Now this should apply fire damage or heat damage once it gets going. Reload. I don't know whether it will on these because they're not organic. Aha! Missed both my legs. Take that! Sweet. So this is more my weapon of choice. This is what I'm going to be probably doing the PvP with. And you can see that it melts sentinels fairly quick. And it's okay at range. It's not bad at range. What was that? That was like something disappeared or something. I don't know. The only thing is, you need to reload it quite often. Yeah, look, fire damage on there. And it's persistent. So it's pretty darn nice. Okay, let's pop that. And we're going to get some more glass. Sweet. Bring it on, Sentinel Force. There we go. Okay, let's try it on a butterfly quickly. I think we got the butterfly. I think the butterfly's dead. It's paused, isn't it? Oh no, it's not dead yet. The butterflies are freaking OP. They take more battering than a freaking walker. Look at that, five damage. What sort of level of shields have those butterflies got? Look, it's on fire and it's still not dead. Right, there we go. What the fudge is nailing me? Freaking dog, see that? It took out, nearly took out my shield. Freaking get bag. Yeah, got him on fire. No way! 
Holy mackerel! No! Run away, run away! For some reason, that dog just done me a load of damage. Like insane amounts of damage. Okay, right. I'm not risking this anymore. Shut down Sentinel forces! Um, I don't want to have to repair my tech. There we go. We got him. Sweet. Well, I didn't do as well as I thought I would. But I think he got very lucky to have that sustained fire on me for that amount of time. I'm going to wait for my shield to go back up again like that. There we are. All the way to the max. Once that hits the top, then if I pop these, I should get a load of um, glass. There we are. Well, projectile ammunition in that one. There we go. Sweet. Cool. Well, there we go. Oh, there's somebody else's ship here. What the fudge? Oh, we've got um, High Tech Man's Starship here. That's unusual. Well, where's High Tech Man then? Oh, there he is. He's over there. He's four minutes that way. Not too sure what he's up to, but yeah, there we go. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna test this multi tool on a freaking butterfly. Let's uh, let's go for bolt caster. Now there's no sentinels around. Hmm. Okay, that's doing a lot more damage than my previous multi um, the um, pulse splitter against this butterfly. It was only doing four damage a top. <laughs> but I I'm having to shoot this a lot more than what Cynical did. Take that, butterfly! He's flying away! Where's my runic lens? There we go. Well, that does loads more damage than a weapon. Uh, that's weird. Well, I got meaty wings. Cool. All right. Yeah, the, this... Um, well, the way to kill them is to use this on the butterflies. So I've got no idea what, what, what my best weapon's going to be against another player. But that definitely works on the butterflies. We've got ourselves some meaty wings. Right, cool. I might take that back to my neutron processor and see if I can make myself something good that might help me with my combat. Because what does the meaty wings do if I eat the meaty wings? Let's have a quick look. Meaty wings, it gives you 1% health back. Now if I can cook that meat, we might be able to up that a bit. Alright, I'd need to charge this up, of course. Okay, let's go over here then. Charge that with a bit of that. There we go. I'm going to head back to my base, people. Okay, your bases. So I've still got a long way to go before I'm going to have enough nanites to upgrade my multi-tool to an S-Class. So that's what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of episodes, is trying to get enough nanites to get it up to an S-Class. Cool. Fun times. Okay, well, let's head on over to my little kitchenette and let's see what we can do with these meaty wings. I'm hoping I can just turn it into processed meat. There we go, processed meat. And I'm hoping it's going to give me something like, I don't know, at least 5% of health back. Something like that. That'll be better. Let's just take some out quickly and see what it does. 20% of life support power. Okay. Well, really, I want to keep health, I guess. So let's stop that. Let's take that back out. Now let's move that over there. So that's not going to work. What can I mix it with? Let's... What about meat again? Meat stew. All right, well, let's see what that does then. Let's just make one. What does meat stew give me? Let's have a look. Meat stew, 15% of sprint time. Hmm, okay. No, I, I think I'd rather just have the 1% of health, to be honest. So, I guess we're just going to be eating a load of meaty wings. Just eating it quite quickly. Alright, fine. There we go. 
Um, I'm going to have to kill a load more butterflies, get a massive stack of that. All right, coolio. Well, at least we've got something that can make us sprint fast if I need to. I don't know whether the sentinels are still shut down on this planet. I think they are. So I could continue murdering butterflies. Let's go murder a load of butterflies quickly. Take that, butterfly! Burn! Dang you! Yes, you're on fire! Ha-ha! Death becomes thee! Frickin' heck, they take a lot of killing! Burn! Deadly burn! There we go. Okay, and you. Done. And you. Wait, don't you fly away when I'm trying to kill thee! Okay. Um. Done. Okay. Take that, butterfly. I'm trying to keep my mining laser red hot so it does a lot more damage. There we go. Chikapow. Have I run out of um, bullets? Yes. Are you on fire yet? Yes, you are. Oi! 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 Stay still! Got him. It's hard to tell which ones you've, you've, you've gone and done and which ones you haven't, because they, they stay still quite often. There you go. Got that one. I see you. I don't know whether I'm mining a rock right now or mining a butterfly. I think I'm... Getting the butterfly now. There we go. I think he's done. That one over there is not, though. Right, there we go. We've got a load of Mordite. And I've got a load of other meaty bits. Oi, butterfly! Butter dead! Oi! Zippity doo da! Okay, you're probably wondering why I'm doing over butterflies right um i'm kind of stuck right now i don't know what's going on i'm stuck ah okay I i'm stuck on something i don't know what i've got stuck now i'm stuck dang it okay hey captain it's a dragon egg okay well i can't do anything i'm, I'm stuck Um, I can't move. Who is he? Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, uh, one second. Let me see if I can ask him to try and nudge me. Uh, it's this guy, isn't it? There you go. Invite to group. I don't know whether he can move me. I don't think this guy's got a mic. I tried talking to him yesterday. I don't know whether he can hear me, but I'm stuck. Look, I'm, I'm like I'm stuck in, like I'm in water or something. Are you able to push me or something? See if you can move me. Um, Yeah, just give me a push. I don't know. Use, if you've got a shield, try pushing me or um, kick me. I don't know. Look, I'm, I'm stuck. You, use a train manipulator at my... Oh, I might be able to use a train manipulator at my feet, actually. Let's give that a go. Yeah, look. I'm, I'm still stuck. I'm just floating in the frickin' air. This game's so blank and broken at times. Um, if I can move my ship close to me... I know I'm not supposed to use my ship, but it might get me out of this sticky situation. Um, there's no flat land here. Ah, oh, it says launch thrusters are too low. Hold on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna change my difficulty to creative mode. God, this game. Oh, here we go. Now let's see if I can call my ship near to me. If I can jump in my ship, there we go. Let's see if I can call my ship in and see if I can get in my ship to get out of this situation, and then jump out of my ship. There we go. Ah, oh, thank fudge for that. I'm free. Okay, here you go. I'll leave your group now, mate. Thank you for trying to help, though. 
I've got a serious echo. Ah, there we go. Phew! Ha! Ah, done! Right, maybe I shouldn't be murdering butterflies. I think um, I've got 98 of them now. That, that's probably more than enough. Okay, so back to making nanites. Right, so over here. Let's go grab... Uh, did I squirrel it all away? I think I did. I think I squirreled it all away. I go back to my storage now. Right, so I think one of the best ways for me to make nanites is by using salvage data. Okay, let's let's have a look how, how much salvage data turns into nanites. Let's go stick that in there. Get that on the bake. Let's have a look. I'm going to get 420 nanites for having... Oh, what did I have? 28 of them? That's not too bad. So I think the best way for me to get nanites is to get myself a load of glass. Anyway, so we've got all this here. So if I extract that... I can go sell those up in the station, and I'm going to get quite a fair few nanites for all of that. Look, I'm going to get a load of nanites for that. So I think killing sentinels is probably one of the better ways to do it. It's just a little bit risky. And, you know, that sentinel tower is still deactivated right now anyway. Um, so that's all good. Right, let's uh, head on over. OK, right, well, I'm back at the old Colossal Archive because... I've got a fair few bits I can hand in. So let's go and hand in a few bits and bobs. Donate so I can hand in the quad servo now. And I can hand in that. So if I go back to redeem, I'm still a little way away. Let's uh, let's buy one of those. And let's go donate that back in again. I'm still a little bit off. I've got to get to master rank. I'm at 66% right now. So it's not much further, I don't think, people. Coolio. Well, I guess it's a case of going to kill more sentinels, but I'm just going to go back up to the station and sell these. Let's head on over. Hello there, merchant. Lovely, lovely. And um, purchase upgrade modules, and I want to hit sell. And I want to sell all of them and all of them. I'm on 14,000. I've got miles to go before I can upgrade the multi tool. But that's going to take a few more episodes. I think you get the general gist of what I'm doing, though. Right, so let's head on back on over to the. Um, to my base and we'll head on up to the other well um yeah I'll head back to my base there you go Chikabu. so there you go people you saw me testing out my multi tool against butterflies and sentinels i didn't do too well against the sentinels my shields gave up quite quickly against that horrible evil sentinel dog of all things freaking rinsed me didn't it i thought i'd make it all the way to the walker no which is weird, because I've taken out a walker earlier with my bolt caster fully upgraded. The dog didn't prove any trouble to me last time. I don't know, just luck of the draw, I guess, people. I think I've killed over like 40 or 50 odd sentinels now. But anyway, I'll see you later, people. Salute to Mondo, and I'll see you next episode. Hopefully we get a little bit closer to getting these nanites that we need for um, upgrading my multi-tool to an S-Class. That's my, now my next jaunt, people. Thank you. Yes. Okay, until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.